guys welcome back to a new video i am super excited for today's video if you can't tell by the title we will be doing a little bookstore vlog a little day out so today is very gloomy it's very wet and yeah I don't know how that relates to what I'm talking about in the video. And I thought it would be a good idea to go to the bookstore, spend a few hours there, enjoy reading, check out some new books, see what I could purchase. I haven't actually bought in anything from the Waterstones that I'm going to. I'm going to the Waterstones Piccadilly, which is the world's, not the world's, the Europe's biggest Waterstones. It has about six floors and it has its own like romance section own fantasy section and so on which i'm really excited for because the closest waterstones to me it's really small like it just has a general fiction section it doesn't have like a specific just for romance so i'm so excited to check that out and then i might go to the works as well but i won't film that in this video but i thought i'll take you guys along with me i haven't actually gone there properly and looked at stuff i went there one time with my aunt like six months ago and i only bought one book i think did i buy a book i don't think i did buy a book then i wanted to come back there to do a full like vlog and like buy loads of books because when i was at uni i used to go waterstones all the time because i had a really good one and i'm just really excited to just go to a bookstore i haven't purchased books like that for donkey years i'm not gonna lie i haven't bought in any books the only book i bought recently is this beauty here the house of flame of shadow which is the third book in the crescent city series i haven't actually started the series at all but i just saw that and it was ten pound fifty so i got that so my goal today is to see if i can get the rest of the books and at least the first two books of the throne of glass series i am starting with assassin's blade because that's what i've seen and i think that's the best way to start it just from what i've seen online i just made my own like kind of decision i'm gonna go to waterstones um i have to travel there the rain horrendous which we don't love but i'm cozy which is good as well i got a bag i bought two bags for me so i have like my normal tote bag and then inside i have like a smaller tote bag just in case i have extra books but i'm trying to see how many books i can get see what i can get for bargains and sometimes they do like the buy one get one half price or they do buy one get one free so i might see what i can find there but yeah i'm gonna stop talking now it's nearly 10 now we're gonna make our way and yeah we're gonna enjoy our time at the little bookstore well it's not little it's absolutely massive and you guys will see it when we're there so sit back relax grab some snacks and join me whilst i go to the bookstore mm -hmm.
home now and I am tired, I'm not going to lie. It is 3 o'clock now, I got home literally about 25 minutes ago, but it was actually a long time, before I knew it, it was like 1 o'clock and I was like, Amy, you've been there for 2 hours already. I bought 10 books, it added up to about £90, which is really good. I actually think it was actually maybe £85 because I got a discount because I had a Waterstones card, but £90? for 10 books i think that's really good plus i still have another 85 pounds on a gift voucher to buy more books so i might be doing like a part two of this obviously the first part is like a bookstore vlog with obviously this book haul and then obviously the other will be like a mini book haul but i want to show you guys all the books i got so i have one big bag here and then one down there and at first i'm going to take them all out because this bag trying to take them out one by one is just going to be so long so i'm just going to take them all out put them together the ones that are series and ones that are standalones and then I'll go through the ones that I got so let me quickly organize it and I'll be back so I'm back now I've got all the books so first I'm going to go through like the standalones and then the series so first we have A Little Life by Yahanna Hanya Yah I'm not even going to say, but this is the name of the author. I decided to buy this book. I've heard so much about it. Everyone said it's really, really sad, but I want to read it. But the cover, <laughs> it's a bit cringe. It's supposed to be a guy crying, but it just looks quite cringy. And a lot of people said they didn't like the new cover of it, but she's a thick book. I didn't realise how thick she was, but I decided to pick it up because I thought it would be a good like book to read. People said it's so like heartbreaking when you read it. Oh. I got it. I really wanted to read it and I'm in a mood to like cry. I don't know what way it's going to make you cry. I don't even know if it's like about love. Oh, it is about love. Oh, it's about graduates actually. So I can relate probably a lot to this because I'm a university graduate. I literally just graduated last year and this book might pull out some heartstrings about being a graduate. I'm scared. But yeah, this is the first book I got. Next we got this book. I'm... <laughs> You must have seen my reaction when I first saw it and I had to pick it up. Obviously, Magnolia Park. So I have the first four books. I've only read the first one, but I needed to buy the whole collection. I hadn't finished basically most of the series, but I had to buy a collection. So I needed to have the whole collection. So I have the old covers. I can't show you because they'll be over then. I can't be able to get them. But I managed to pick up. This beauty, Magnolia Parks, Into the Dark. Look how beautiful. Look at the, like, the spine is what gets me. And I just can't wait to put them all together. It did get, like, a little bit kind of mushed in my bag. But I think it's actually kind of straightened itself out. But oh, fresh. The good thing about going to, like, a bookstore rather than, like, Amazon is the fact that like, you can actually pick out the one that you want, like, the best quality one. Whereas, obviously, with Amazon, sometimes the quality is not that good. But I can't wait to read it. Oh, my gosh. I did like the Magnolia Parks. I don't know if I mentioned before. I think I have probably in my other vlogs. But I read it within like a space of a few weeks. So I wasn't as attached. So I think before I even start Daisy Yates, I might reread Magnolia Parks and see if maybe like that will help me kind of get into it a little bit more. But people said this book is devastating. So I had to pick up to complete my collection. But the gold, it's the gold for me. Oh beautiful it's such a beautiful cover so next we have the right move by liz tomford this is a author that i've actually read a long time ago i think i actually read her on wattpad yeah wattpad because she was first on wattpad like mile high there's like another series that she had before mile high and i read that and i was obsessed with it and i saw it when i went to watch those today i didn't get the first two books no the first book which is mile high just because i have read it before and I don't really want to buy the physical copy. I don't know why. But I saw the right move. It also had caught up, but I didn't get that one either. I really wanted to read this one. And this one features Ryan. I know, like, everyone talks about Ryan and says, like, he's the ultimate book boyfriend. So it features Ryan and Indy. Ryan is an NBM player. NBM? A NBA player. And his sister's best friend is basically sent to live with him. And they basically form a fake relationship because everyone sees him as kind of, like very dark mysterious and stuff like that and people said that he doesn't have a work-life balance so he pretends to be dating her in order to like be seen as more like i don't know 
just seen as more something i don't know i don't know what that something is but yeah i decided to pick it up because i really wanted to read it and this one as well the cover with me i'll buy a book if it has a good cover i'll buy the book unless i've really been wanting to read the book based on like the synopsis then i would get it but most of the time it's about the cover and this cover is so cute i don't know if you can see it but there's like writing like when you turn it you probably can't see it there's like writing I like see a little bit up here and I think that's just really cute so I'm excited to read that one and then the last standalone book is Hookshot this book has been on my TBR for a really long time this one's by Kennedy Ryan I have her book Before I Let Go but I love Kennedy Ryan I recently started to read Before I Let Go I had actually finished it I had actually paused it for the moment because I was in like a life slump so I decided to like maybe reread it again I think that might be on my TBR for this month actually Hookshot I've heard so many good things about it. One of my favourite booktubers, booktubers, booktokers, called Tammy. She does, um, like, book recommendations. And she said this is such a good black romance. So I'm really invested. Again, this was basketball, as you can probably guess. And as well, the cover's just so cute. I did see the other book, but I picked this one up especially because I've heard a lot of people mention it. And, yeah, Kennedy Ryan is another author that I really want to get more into in 2024. But that is all for our standalone books. Now we're going to go on to series. Two of the stacks are, they're both from the same series. I recently purchased A House of Flame and Shadow, which is part of the Crescent City series. I haven't read the first two books in the series, so I needed to get those. I was hoping to find the hardbacks just to match this, but I got to a point where I didn't care and I just wanted to start the series. First we got The House of Sky and Breath, and then we have House of Earth and Blood. I don't know which one's which which one's first or not i just know these are the two books that are before the house of flame and shadow but they only had paperback but still i don't care i think what i'm gonna do like on my bookshelf is maybe like i want to make a sarah j mass like section and these are thicker as well i don't know how i'm gonna read these but cute covers so i had to get those to like fulfill the stack of the crescent city series and then on the thing that i was talking about this morning obviously my most anticipated series is to start the throne of glass series by sarah g mass as i've obviously finished um the akatar series so they had all the books there but i only was plan to get like only two just because there's eight books in this series and i didn't want to purchase all eight in one go i was going to get a box set but it's actually cheaper to buy them individually rather than the box set i think in the box set it's like 90 quid whereas on like them individually i think it's like 70 pounds so not that much different but in my eyes it is i know you can get it for the works like 30 pounds like a box set but none of the books look the same like some of them are white some of them are black spine and i just didn't like that so i was waiting to like go to waterstone to buy it so i bought the first four books these are the first four beautiful babies so obviously we have assassin's blade which i will be reading first because people said you can either read it like first or third or like fourth or something like that but i'm going to read it first and then we have throne of glass we have the crown of midnight and then we have the air of fire and then obviously the other four books i didn't buy i was originally going to buy the first five books so i was like what's the point of doing that if there's eight books in the series i might as well like the first half once i finish that and once i maybe get to like the last book then buy the other four but i was really happy when they had them i actually wanted the us covers because i think they're more cuter i saw the hardback version but i didn't want the hardback version they're like 17 pounds for a hardback version and to get like a whole box that's like 150 quid i was like i'm not doing that so i just bought them like as the paperback but still the uk covers are cute i do like the fact that it has the different colors but i would have preferred the us covers and i'm just happy that they're all look the same not some of them are white some of them are brown some of them are green like it's just i don't like the aesthetic of that so i'm gonna read it in that order i've also heard that apparently the order that i'm reading it in is what sarah j herself has recommended so that's the order i'm gonna read it in what i've also heard is i think it's the is it the last two books that people said you should tandem read them where you like read them together so you read like one chapter of one read a chapter of another so i think i'm gonna do that because people said this one within the same timeline but yeah i'm happy that i got these my fantasy series era is really starting i saw so many other fantasy books that i want to try so i'm going to add those to my list this evening i'm going to be going on amazon to buy even more books but i'm going to get more of like my black romances because warstone doesn't have as much as black romances as like i wanted i saw a few there 
but I really want to get certain ones and they just need to really increase their diversity. Like they never have an area where it's like people of colour and stuff like that. I know you shouldn't like marginalise them for like white books area, but you it's so hard to find them and like they don't even show you, especially as well, like I'm not gonna go to a bookstore and like automatically find it but those are the books I got I was gonna look for non-fiction books but I just couldn't find any that I liked and I was already there for like three hours and it took me so long to find these books so that's the only thing with the Piccadilly Waterstones it is quite daunting I think my next bookstore vlog I'm gonna go to this bookstore called Fo Foil Foil Foggles, I don't know, something like that and apparently it's really beautiful in there so I think I'm going to go there but then I also want to visit back that Hatcherson one that I went to or Hatches or Hatches, whatever it's called I want to visit that one again so we will we'll do another bookstore vlog but I might do that towards summertime just because a lot of the non-fiction books I love to read you summertime and yeah I definitely will be doing that again, definitely will be going back to that Waterstones because they did have some gems, they had Never by Jessa Hastings as well but it's only the paperback and it's like £15 for paperback and I'm not that short on the book like I really want to get it but I don't want a paperback of it but I don't want a hardback of it it also had like the throne of glass um collector's edition that was really cute um I, the reason I didn't get that one either is because I haven't read the throne of glass series so I don't really want to invest in that if it was a court of thorns and roses then maybe but even then they don't really look that nice like I want it to be like extra but they did have really cute ones they had the shatter me they had like um a special edition of that and yeah it was a good day out i enjoyed it and i definitely will be doing it again so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a like and a subscribe make sure you watch my other content that has been posted we're gonna now just go and sit on my couch and rot like i usually do but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you always know that you're blessed also make sure you follow my socials down below we have my instagram we have my pinterest we have my tiktok show me some love i also want to connect with you guys more often on these sites also good reads check out my good reads if you want to see what i'm reading what i've read my recommendations but yeah so as i always say i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric DNA